Hello everyone and welcome to the most unique episodes of Beyond Mirage because today we have with us world's youngest author Abhijita Gupta. She is the author of three beautiful books to begin with the little things happiness all around and we will surely sustain. She has been recognized by the International Book of Record, UK's World Book of Records and has also won the title Grand Master of Writing by the Asia Book of Records. Welcome Abhijita to the podcast and web series of Beyond Viraj. Thank you for inviting me on this platform. Okay. So, uh, first I would like to start with how do you get the idea of writing such amazing books? My surroundings, uh like I like to express myself, so I observe my surroundings as much as I can and I write books books upon what I hear, what I feel and what I see. So okay. surround, basically surroundings give me the ideas of writing such beautiful books. That's nice. That's nice. So here you want to talk about the power of observation, right? Like the yeah. more you observe the things around and in your surroundings, you get more idea about them penning it, penning yes. it out. Okay. Okay. So, so after writing three books, okay. Like what, what are you going to do next? Like what's, what's big coming next? Uh, I was thinking of writing another book okay. and I didn't think I should share it right now or the suspense will be finished. That's true. Okay. Then who has been your biggest supporter? Uh, my family, my parents and my family support me a lot more than anyone can. Okay. So could you, could you share some example like how they have been a good supporter to you? There are so many examples I can't choose. But yes, all families and uh, parents support their children. Same is with mine. Okay. Um, so, is that who I like uh, when you have written something? So, whom do you f- show it first? Uh, I show it to my mama, but sometimes papa is also there. So, I show uh, to my I mean, show I show it first to my parents. Parents. Okay, okay. So, what what is their response at that time? They are like, "Wow, you wrote it nearly nice. We uh, just finish it a little nicely, and we'll like share it, uh, share it with everyone." Wow. And just re- yeah, and sometimes we also make a video about about like me. I, I'm reciting the poem, and she is making a video. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, so uh, if if I ask you, so you are not sharing the suspense, that's true. Okay, and that's completely fine of your fourth book. But uh, if I ask you to pick one book out of the three that you have written, okay, which is very dear and close to your heart, then which one would that be? My second book. That's because in that, this is my favorite book. In because in that I like I have encouraged many people that we can conquer any difficulties if we are positive and we are calm. Mm. Right, right, right. So basically, like changing the mindset. Okay, that. Yeah, like yeah. I'm un- un- encouraging a lot of people that we could conquer any difficulty, no matter what is the situation. Um, like. You'll all conquer everything if you are you, if you're staying positive and calm. Mm, that's true. That's uh, that's really great because our many scriptures also say the same thing, and there are many valuable learnings hidden out of uh, out of from our scriptures also, which also say that if you have a positive mindset and if you have a calm mindset, then nothing can stop you to achieve anything in the world, and that's completely true. And I I hope that this message reach to as many people as it can, so that there could be a positive shift in the world, right? What do you think? Right. Yeah. Perfect. So uh, now now I, I would like to ask you some creative questions. Okay. So if you have all the power and energy you need right now, you have it right now. And if you are asked to change one thing in this world, okay, what will that be? I want to change two things in this world. Okay, change two things. Okay. 
first of all i want to show everyone how important trees are so they'll impact so then start planting more and more trees and second thing i want to change is that the poverty and the homeless people should not go unnoticed mm. so what will you do some magic or like what what kind of things that you would suggest people to do or you would do yourself so that we all together can bring this change because the problem is so big as you address the problem of environment okay like uh, we are not planting trees and we are not saving them or say poverty that's a huge problem right now okay so how we all can together change that like what would you tell people or how would you encourage people i would make posters and like whenever i go out i'll carry a dozen of them and yeah. then i'll paste it whenever whenever i uh, find a good spot so that whenever people are passing their eyes might fall upon uh, that poster and they might fa- uh, find it attractive so half of the crowd will uh, see that yes the poverty and the homeless people are going unnoticed so they might start doing everything which we have not done yet we which on which we were lacking that's nice that's uh, that's really beautiful and uh, so what all what small what small steps one can take so that we can make this world a beautiful place we can change all this all what small small steps in our daily life we can take what according to you we can do like uh, you you are so creative because you have written so many books so i want to explore that creative part because as we grow up what happens is that uh, our mind has certain patterns okay and we stick to some direction na ye karna hai to ye karna hai but when you are a child when you are so curious when you have such a creative mind there are so many ideas that go in your mind right so i want to explore that that's why i'm asking you like what small changes we can do in our daily life so that we together can make this world a beautiful place like i i say we have to save water because many people don't even get water to drink there's a fact that people can stay hungry for weeks but they could only stay thirsty for only days mm. and i would like that to change and plant more trees and of course we have to reduce pollution right because of the pollution the ozone layer is getting affected and the ozone layer protects us from the harmful rays of the sun which is trying to enter earth if that ozone layer if the ozone layer is affected and these uh, harmful rays of the sun uh, starts getting into earth there would be a sudden increase in the warming also known as the global warming right 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 yep so definitely yes we should reduce pollution like we could use many tactics yes. to... and for and i want uh, and we could use cycle to go we could use cycles if you want if you have to go to a nearby place or we could walk instead of using car for everything right 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 that's that's kind of nice ideas basically and yes definitely you have uh, say hit upon the three major problems water environment right and yep yeah, definitely if we if we all take together small small steps i am also a firm believer of this that if we together take small small steps then definitely a huge change can be made in this world and yep yeah. a small a small steps make a huge change in this world if a dozen of small steps i mean if a one step is if one of if one person makes small steps and it could create such a huge difference how many how many if we take if all of the world take a uh, small small te- steps towards our mother earth i don't know the earth could even change completely that's that's so powerful statement right and and it always starts with one person like whenever we see inspirational stories like if you have listened to various stories or if when you if you have read to various stories it all starts with one person and that curiosity that passion for that thing okay and once once a person starts and starts taking that action a small change is seen and seeing that person there are people who get inspired like you talked about encouraging people right and so how do you encourage people basically like right so you take steps and then they see you and other people would start taking steps right that's what you would like to tell yeah 
ओके एंड दैट्स यस दैट वाज अ वेरी पावरफुल स्टेटमेंट कि अगर एक इंसान की वजह से इतना चेंज आ सकता है तो अगर पूरी दुनिया छोटे छोटे स्टेप्स लेना स्टार्ट करते तो कितना चेंज आ जाएगा दैट्स 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 एक्चुअली अ वेरी पावरफुल स्टेटमेंट एंड सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक हाउ डू यू इमेजिन द वर्ल्ड इन 2030 और इज इट 10 इयर्स डाउन द लाइन 2032 8 Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, like the earth will be a more would be a better place to live. Everybody would be more compassionate and empathetic. And uh, I like the diesel and petrol cars will be out of trend and we will be using electric cars. Wow. Okay. Yes, and I would probably be checking the results of my medical entrance exam. Wow! So you want to be a doctor? Yes. Ah, uh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, I really wish you all the best for that. Uh, and yes, you would definitely you would be checking your medical exam results, and I hope that you get all the <laughs> success in that. Okay. Okay. and 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 uh, there are two questions uh, abhichita uh, that i would like to ask all my guest okay i asked to all of my guest the first question is what is happiness according to you uh happiness according to me is staying positive and being happy in whatever you have okay that's wonderful <laughs> and and the second question that i asked to all of my guests is what is success according to you success means according to me is that being a good person being a good human being and help others uh, in their well being right that's that's kind of uh, nice because yeah and i think that uh, you have already started on that journey because uh, your books are encouraging your say mindset is very powerful and i think that you could be a very great leader okay because your mind is so creative it has so many implementation points okay sometimes we think about ideas that are not implemented well okay but when we think about good ideas and if we implement and when you touched upon the two important aspects or rather i would say three that is poverty water and environment then those are the biggest problems one can solve okay and definitely i hope that eight years down the line okay or is it 10 years down the line in 2032 uh we would see a very positive uh, environment everywhere like as you said people could be empathetic and that's 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 so good right and uh, any final thing that you would like to tell to all the people so who are listening to this podcast that anything that you would like to say that could encourage them or could like anything you would like to share to all the people who are listening i want to share two things that i have written uh, first is upon truth at lies okay so when we tell a lie it's visible in your eyes eyes are the reflection of your heart eventually you lose your spark when we tell the truth it enhances your growth your confidence will gain and you will be high on self esteem wow so deep <laughs> and the second one is upon hard work try harder and harder climb the ladder and achieve larger no matter how many times we fail give your heart and soul every time and keep up the scale your efforts will not go in vain as failures are also lessons to gain and try and do not repeat the same mistakes again wow that's so nice and powerful and that's so encouraging i hope that this message reaches to as many people as it can so that together uh, we can see the change that you wish to see in the world okay and i hope that you enjoy talking okay yes. so okay so thank you so much abhijita for contributing your thoughts your ideas and 
saying everything from within that you have so that it can inspire more people and i hope that anyone who has listened to this podcast have gained certain value from this thank you <laughs>